So starting from scratch, the first thing you want to do is you want to drag your video in and then you want to drag it into your timeline. Once you've done that, let's just play it, see how it sounds. This is Star Maker, a free karaoke app with all the latest trending songs. So the cool thing with this is if you make a mistake, let's say you say the wrong word, you say something and it's a bad take. If you don't want to re-record the video, then you can do this trick to change the voiceover, record the voiceover in your booth, and then apply it using CapCut. Now, I'm gonna do an extreme version of this. I'm not only will I have her say a totally different line, completely different than what she just said, but it's gonna be a completely different voice. So I'm sizing this up so that way we only have her saying the line and it ends. And then I have this highlighted, and then we're gonna go under Video Basic, which is the default, and then we're gonna scroll till we see Lip Sync. This is the Lip Sync. This is a pro feature, it's not free. So you have to have the pro plan to do this. The time, number of seconds that the video needs to be, I believe it has to be more than one second. And then I think the maximum is 10 seconds. But I've seen, actually I've done 60 seconds, but it's, I think it costs a lot of credits. And as you can see, I think it's two credits per second, I believe. The next thing you wanna do is you never wanna enter text. You never wanna do that, cause it's gonna sound bad. You wanna always add your own voice. So you wanna record your voice or use 11 labs or whatever. And you wanna add your own audio to this. Never use their voices. It sucks, it's really bad. We're gonna upload the voiceover. So I'm gonna click on this, then I'm gonna go to CapCut, and then this is the voiceover we're gonna use. So it's this is gonna be five seconds, just which would be redub a voice, credits. and it can be done so just using CapCut. So go ahead and hit save. So it's gonna use 10 credits. You have, right now I have 884 credits. Now, another thing you could do, is says keep the background sound. So what tends to happen is if you're changing a voiceover and let's say there's music, what CapCut would do, it will isolate the original voiceover and replace it with your voiceover, but keep the music, keep the sound effects, all the background sounds will stay the same, which is freaking insane. So in this case, we're not gonna do that, but if you do have music with your voiceover, you definitely need to check this off. If you don't, then you have to redo the, the sound design, which could be a, a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and uh, just hit generate. And I'm, I'm doing all this on purpose so you can see every single message that you could possibly get with this software. So this says continue to generate. This video is shorter than the audio. To match the audio duration, the video will have to reverse and loop. It's literally telling you it's gonna literally reverse the acting and loop it. So if you're okay with that, then you just hit continue. If you're not, then you have to go cancel and then make the video either um, longer somehow or uh, use more of the video or, or whatever. Um, but we're gonna hit, go ahead and hit continue. And then you can see here it's processing. And if you look here, I'm gonna zoom in while it's doing this. If you look, scroll this up here, I'm gonna move this over. You scroll here, you see this right here? It says AI generated. Always remember when this thing is done, you gotta remove that. The best way to do it is to take and export this video and then take it into a website where you can remove the watermark. Now, you might be wondering, why would I take it out of CapCut when I can just remove the watermark in CapCut? They literally have a tool that says AI remove. Not only will you lose credits doing this, they will not refund you the credits because they will say that you're trying to game their system and you will lose credits. They will not remove the watermark. It's real, I've tried it and it doesn't work. So you have to export the final video once it's done processing. And then I'll show you the tool that you'll need to use to actually remove that little tiny watermark. It's always there. All right, so let's see how this, or let's hear how this sounds. It's pretty crazy how you can just redub a voice and it can be done just using CapCut. It's pretty crazy how you can just redub a voice and it all right hang on one second let's try this again it's pretty crazy how you can just redub a voice and it can be done just using cap cut it's okay. pretty crazy how you can just all right so the thing is it does sound good the lip sync is a little bit off at the beginning and you see it, it you see how it loops that part 
You can fix that. You see how right there? You can fix that by just going like this and then scaling it up. It's not a big deal. Cause you could just hang on. It won't it may not work because I was up. Sometimes it glitches where you can't actually adjust it. You have to close the program and then open it back up. And that way you can move the video itself around. I don't know why it does that. It's an issue. But if you play it's this again. It's pretty crazy how you can just you'll redub see. a voice and it can be done yeah, just using CapCut. It's fine. It works. It's whatever. But that's basically how you do it.